Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how admin can delete category. Here you can see if I click on view category, we have here category ID and category name, right? So I'm going to add here one more option for the delete. So, so that admin can click on delete and the category will be deleted. So let me show you. This is the URL for the view category. So we have to actually go for the view category page. So let's go to the code editor here and let's go uh, for the resources. Here you can see resources, then views, then admin. Inside admin, we have view category.blade.php. And here you can see uh, I'm going to add here one more th for the column uh, table header. And here I will say action. Here I'm going to add one more td. So the td, and here I'm going to add an anchor link or anchor tag, whatever you say. And here I'm going to actually uh, add uh, padding. Uh, okay so okay so what i've done here is okay so i made a mistake here so it will be like this all right and now uh in the uh, so this is the td right okay so we have here a link and here the link will be let's say delete and we'll actually keep it i mean i want to say here that uh, we have to actually give it a, a reference right but at first i'm going to add some style for it so actually i don't need to do it i'll just check that how it look like let's say i want to refresh it and here you can see we have a delete option here right delete so if i click on delete then it should go uh, to route right so let's give a route here and here i'm going to give the route name as let's say route and this is inside admin so i will say admin dot then any route name let's say i'm going to copy it and i'm going to go to the web.php inside routes here you can see web.php and here i'm going to create a middle uh, sorry a get route right for the admin here you can see we have admin middleware here and inside it i'm going to create a get route so let's copy it paste it here let's change the name to admin delete right and here we have a view category so i'm going to say delete delete underscore c a t e g o r category and here i'm going to say delete category okay delete category so let's go create a function in the admin controller so we have to go for the app then http then controller here you can see controller and then we have admin controller and here i'm going to create a function so let's name the function as delete category and i'm going to say here delete category and here i'm going to uh, add this function but here you can see i don't know which category actually i want to delete if i go there in the database here you can see our category have also an id right so let's say i have multiple category let's say i want to go for the add category and our admin want to actually add let's say multiple category i will say ctg1 enter so it will be added successfully and say ctg2 enter added successfully now let's say i want to go for the view category here you can see we have three category so which one actually i want to delete right so i have to actually track it we can track through id you can see this is the primary key if i go to the structure you can see this is the primary key right okay so here you can see we are actually facing here category so i'm going to actually copy this variable here and i'm going to say i want to actually pass a, a category id also with it so dollar category and the column name was id right if i go there you can see id yes so we are passing here id so we have to actually go in the route web.php and here also we have to pass a uh, pass an id right yeah so i'm going to say id and instead delete category we will go to the admin con controller and delete category here we have to pass the id as a parameter now we will say dollar c a t e g o r i category is equal to we will say find we will say find or fail so we'll pass here an id but for uh, which table right so we have to actually mention the model also so the model will be what uh category model so i'm going to copy it let's go there and paste it here and colon colon i will say find or fail id so it will actually find the id 
it will actually store here and now i will delete it so i will say catagory -E category uh, i will say delete function that's it and i'll go return redirect and i want to actually pass here a message so i will say uh, with message and the message will be uh, so let's i want to say delete ctg or category C A T E G or category okay delete category and here uh, i want to actually pass here one more parameter and the parameter is for the message uh, that uh, which message actually i want to show so i will say uh, deleted successfully so delete category message underscore message uh, category message okay so it will actually re uh, return redirect back so it will actually redirect back to this uh, here here i'm going to say add if i'm going to say session i'll say end if because i have to close the if condition right and here in the session i have to say delete message so this is the session and we'll actually show here a div and here i'm going to actually show the message and the message will be this one delete message i have to actually print the session so i have to give here a single quotation single quotation and close the session now it will work at first i'm going to add uh let's say some category so i'll go there view category and here you can see you have only one category so i'm going to add category let's say i will say test ctg i'll say test ctg2 test ctg3 let's say uh, now let's say i want to go for the view category and here you can see all the category now let's say i want to delete this one seven delete here you can see deleted successfully right so it's deleted successfully here you can see if admin accidentally delete something I mean admin don't want to actually delete it but uh, accidentally uh, click here so it will be deleted right so let's do something here is i want to actually uh, show here a pop-up message if admin click here delete then here uh, a pop-up message will be shown so let's go and uh, here you can see we have a button so here we'll say on click on click i'll say return a function name i want to show here a confirmation method so i'll say confirm and this is the default method so here i'm going to say that uh, are you sure are you sure now let's i want to delete it and here you can see it shows a, a pop-up message are you sure i will say cancel then here you can see it's not deleted if i say okay then it will be deleted here you can see deleted successfully so it's working right that's it. Thank you so much for watching.